And so, legendary demon hunter Doug McGrave seeking an ever furry glory and riches journey through the forest at Hellside. When suddenly, Master McGrave, over here, is it really you? Our town is overrun with demonic present. Without your well known skills, we are all surely doomed. It's your lucky day, gross witchy lady. Point me to the demons and show me the gold. Of demons, we've plenty. Gold, however, none. Could you not take a small bit of pity on us? Haha, <laughs> worst pitch I've ever heard. I got one promising wealthy slave folks to save. Scoundrel! Gold you desire, demand, riches you crave. Now I curse you, Doug McGrave. Until you choose to save our town, your powers and property will crumble down. Hmm, which is what am I supposed to do now? Save our town, you jerk. Boom, boom, bam, bam, bam. The Weapon Augur Fist! Thanks. Hey guys, and welcome to the Weapon Augur... Weapon Augur Fist? Not sure how it's pronounced, but it is a fun, fun game. Welcome to Hillside. It's a humble little town, but at least we have our hero now. So, we're up here. This is Doug Grave. So, it's telling us the base thing. WSD. Hey, Doug. What if chess teams have gotten free? Help me out and catch it, will ya? Use the arrow keys to grab it. So that's the chest, you just... Oh, so yeah, you have to grab it, push it. Ah, come back here, chest. Just give me the run, there you go. Hey, I said the cap still fell, now smash him. May as well pick up his loot now. So, let's just pick a sword. It's perfectly fine, you know. He'll be okay, those little guys love to get smashed. Give another go, cut out your sword on this guy. So same, same idea, swing. Ah, magic spell, those happen to be my specialty. Go and pick it up, Douglas. Now there's space to cast a spell. Every spell is pretty differently, you know? Fantastic, last, but this curse all weapons like to shower after a few attacks. Luckily, they have luckily left down there. May as well get in there and save us. I suppose you're rambling on an lady. Let's go. So yeah, exactly like he says, like, after a few attacks, your weapons crumble to the ground. So, there's the demon. Oop. So the weapons have different combo patterns, like you see here. So. So. so these guys you can collect. Um, I don't even know what they call that stuff, but. I like the sword. I find the swords quite good. A lot better. The spear has a good range, but I find the sword has better effectiveness. Oop, we picked up a spear. This is fine. And it's also dependent on the health that the enemies you're facing. These guys have higher health. So, these guys' spear is really nice. These guys, if there's a bunch of them, they can kind of corner you because the spear has kind of a lower attack speed. But, if you get up on these guys, you can one combo them as well. Let's give my quick leg. Combo leg. Oop, oh, oh shoot. Charge right there. See, like there, when there's two groups of enemies, the sword's quite nice for groups of enemies. Or the, or if you have weaker enemies with longer range, this is kind of can be a better weapon. So, all depends on what we're facing. Grab a new weapon. So we haven't had too much trouble right now with our weapon. Um, totally decreasing, but these guys are. These are like. Henchy guys, and they have a minigun. Can't pick up a minigun and go in the bottom right corner. You can see, or sorry, the bottom left. You can see the durability of your weapon. With some of these range weapons, I just recommend just fire away. Oops. I'm not sure if that bomb thing, bomb says. There's a little red line in the bottom. I'm not sure if that really dictates. I haven't quite figured that all out yet. But I find it's important to keep your distance from these 
Oops. Oh yeah. Play that you have the special ability, which is mentioned in the intro. Oh, oh shoot. I just kind of played a bit. I just played a bit of the first mission. Now we have a special ability as well as... So you can punch, but you're best to use a weapon. Oops. So different things do a different amount of damage. Obviously the mini guns there do. They do less damage to range. So. I'm not sure if that actually blocks damage or what it does, but it is a spell. Oh, oh we're taking some pretty good damage there. I worked up for that weapon. I got snap. But yeah, I do like the weapon. Oops. Suffer when you obviously run into the corner bullets like that. An idiot. I find the guns pretty good. You want to go for that chest? Chests only really have good stuff in it. Do you want to collect them? Wound him. Don't fall in holes as well. So. Enter in the cell. Got a bow girl. So she's in six, she'll shoot himself in different directions. Like she'll rotate. But these guys often just kind of go wherever. So. Again, with the main gun, you can just keep those guys at bay. They can't even attack you. So, so the bow, you guys haven't seen that. It kind of, you pull back, but it penetrates. So it's, it's higher damage. Oh, it's good. Like, so watch. It'll penetrate through both those enemies. So the bow is basically a weapon. Like, it pretty much has the same damage as the minigun. But the minigun has good, pretty good knockback, which the bow doesn't really have. You, and I love the bow because you can kill these uh, magic guys pretty easily. And also, see, that's kind of how the magic works. You cannot disable the magic once you have selected it, so you kind of you're gonna use it to the end of its cycle. So, um, kind of your choice whether you use want to use ranged or um, melee, and it kind of depends on level. I'm sure later on it'll be harder to get weapons, so you'll have to use whatever is available to you. Right now we're on lower levels, so weapons are a lot more common. Just use the rest of this machine gun or the time gun. Grab the bow. Start going. So they can kind of shoot at angles. You can't really. The only only way you can change your angles if you fire if you run up or down while shooting. You'll change your angle a little bit. So um, our bow's kind of run out. So we'll grab this timing gun before we move on. Okay. So those are blocking. They block both enemies and, um, they block both allies and, like, so they block your shots as well as enemy shots. Got this bow. There, there's a good shot. Got two of them. So mostly I'm just worried about that guy right now. Our shots obviously travel a lot slower than yours, so now we only have... Oh. We're really gonna beat him because we don't have a weapon. But what we can do is we can actually activate our spell. Oh, now we're really getting beat up. I was an idiot up next to that there. Got this. Ow. And we don't see, like, running out of weapons is very hazard really. So, we... Totally rocked it until um, we ran out of items and we died. So, um, highest level one. Let's revive in town. So, welcome back. Ooh, looks like that Kirk got the best of you, eh? Let's talk about that real quick. Can they make you stronger? The higher level you are, the more damage you do. Plus, training at your weapons with me will make them hit even harder. But where? Because of the curse, you aren't slaying evil, you're getting weakened. Enemies will increase your column meter. If your column meter ever reaches zero, your experience will bleed away 
weakening your strength. The number of kills in your combo doesn't matter. But you have to keep it active, avoid losing spirits. Do everything you can to slow that curse down. Like, give me all the goopy find. So that's okay, that's what that is. I couldn't remember when I played it earlier. What it said. So that's how it works. The column even the bottom is without it you lose experience. Let's talk to this guy. Not as strong as that old witch there, but I've got some tricks of my own. If you want to weaken that curse, you can wear bits of it off. Can be to reclaim your old strength. So, it's low column meter. So I haven't actually checked out these stores yet, so we'll... So I don't know what I want to spend on, so increase health capacity. More hearts mean more life means less falling down at times. Because you help a perfect one heart. Slow the drain of the column meter to reach, help you reach a high level of the shop specialty. Oh well, well, we'll see what she needs. Welcome, laddie. If you want a weapon lessons, you're the... I'm the one to see. Trade with me and your weapons will pack a bear punch. I can teach you to wield that junk like diamonds. So I'll increase my fist level. It's kind of weak, but at least you get to vent. So I... To... Alright, range, pretty good damage, lightning fast attack, beat each other, and sword, spear. Good. One big old thrust can knock down in one long, strong, and worth those saw. Machine gun, one of the fast weapons, this thing fires a ton of rounds each second, lowish damage per shot, but easily aim and unload. So. That's only 300, so that's cheapish, but like. We vendors know you, can, you can't carry money, so we'll take Demon Goop. Bring me some, and I'll send my little pals into the cave. Give them a whack and they'll drop present. Don't worry, they love it. I had to run fast for 30 seconds. Health up rune on depth 1. Guaranteed somewhere in depth 1 that chest will spawn to increase your maximum health by 1. Where's off when you die? Saves the checkpoints. Can be carried forward. Hmm. That's expensive. I can pay for five hundred. Hey, dog, if you want to learn about this curse stuff first, come see me. I got tons of information on it. Come see me. Bartholomew Bard Cakes. Let's talk to Bartholomew. Hey, Mr. McGrave. I'm right now and everything all about your adventures. If you need to remember something, see how you do and talk to me. So we got the best depths, level one. Got the achievements. We got some how to play information, which you already know about. So. Um, combo. Yep. Moves. Okay. Don't last forever, but it's that powerful. Who we haven't found Obelisk that Obelisk will pay through done to save your progress. Obelisk store not you just your deepest progress, but also your level and how many health rooms you've collected. Thus by passing your checkpoint forward you can carry multiple health rooms, thereby giving yourself a giant pool of health. Starting to begin with death one cops you nothing. However, if you start making it through, you ought to play some goop. Caution, magic is only so strong and an abused checkpoint can wear out. Hmm, interesting. I didn't know that. So, let's check out what this person, Cumberbun Rosebatch. Greetings, if you've got a magic skill that needs improvement, I'm the one to see. I can make your fire harder, your ice skills colder, and your tuba tubier. So, that we got firing. Plus, you're free to use other weapon while we're a little for man. Hmm. We'll go with an upgrade of fire. And then I want to upgrade the combo meter. And I think, that, I think it was all 300 for these, which is fine. So anyway, guys, thanks for coming out for our first episode of the Weaponago Gist. And we will continue in the next one, guys. Later.